Okay, we have two that we're going to solve that involve exponents. Now, we solved exponent ones earlier uh, in a previous section. However, we did that by equal basis property. So the, if you have the two bases are the same, you can set the exponents equal. Well, the problem with this one is these are not the same bases. We have a three and then we have a seven and you can't write these both as the same base. So we can't solve it that way. So instead, we need to apply a different process for solving these. That process is going to involve putting either a log on both sides or ln. Now you can choose either a log base 10 or an ln. And the only reason why you want to use those, you could actually use log of any base that you wanted to, but some of these problems may ask you to give an approximation for the answer. So because of that, we want to make sure we actually put something that we could do in a calculator just in case it asks for an approximation later. So we need to put either an ln on both sides or a log base 10 on both sides. It doesn't matter which one. I'm just going to use ln, so again it's uh, one less letter than a log to write, so uh, make it easier. So I'm going to put ln on this side and ln on that side. And by doing, the only reason why you want to do that is because this allows us to move the x down front because of that log property, rule number 5. By bringing that down front, we have x ln 3 down in front, so because of that, now because x is a factor, we can divide both sides by ln3 and we can get our answer. So we'll divide both sides by ln3 and we get natural log of 7 over natural log of 3. And if we wanted to get an approximation, we could put that into our calculator, that's fine. But this answer is acceptable just like that. This would be the exact answer. Again, if you had both these with a log base 10 top and bottom, that's perfectly fine too. That would be exactly the same result uh, as a decimal. So therefore, either one of those would be acceptable. Let's take a look at this one. Now, if you have a problem that does have an E in there for one of the bases, you definitely do want to apply natural log on these instead of a, a regular log. The reason why is because if you put an LN and an E together, those end up canceling each other out. So we are going to do exactly the same thing as before. I'm putting an LN on both sides. This whole thing, this is one big exponent. This whole thing is going to come all the way down in front. So it means that I can put X plus 5 down there and then I have ln e equals ln 4. ln e, that was a property before, that was a property we talked about before. That's like a log base b of b that equals 1 because this is a log base e with an e afterwards. So that turns this whole thing right here, that would turn into a 1. So really you would have 1 times x plus 5. So this part is going to just disappear because again it's equal to 1. So now I just have x plus 5 is equal to ln 4. Last thing we're going to do is subtract the 5 from both sides and we just do negative 5 plus natural log of 4 or if the order is switched around that's fine as well. This would be the exact answer. Again you could put that into a calculator if you wanted, it, wanted to do so. It's fine but this is fine like this as the exact answer.